Hey everyone, this is Kelly XX from Call to GFX, and today I'm going to show you how to use Blocksporter. It is the fastest Figma to Roblox importer right now. For the first step, go to Blocksporter's Figma page and scroll down to the configuration tags. These are some of the functions that you can do. I recommend you read them and keep them by hand in the beginning while you get familiar with them. All of them should be added after the layer's name, except the icon tag. The icon tag links images with the same name together. Everything that has this tag will only be exported as one single PNG once. This is good practice to make your UIs load faster. This one is used when you have many images that are going to be the same and you don't want the plugin to make lots of copies of the same image. Okay, now let's go to our design. This design was made by TNYT, so credits to him for the file. Before we start, here's a quick tip. Organize your layers in Figma in the way that you'd like to see them in the studio. The plugin is going to try to copy exactly as it is. So let's start preparing our file. Add the tags to the items or node names, just like I'm doing here. I'm creating scrolling frames and buttons. Now select the entire frame and make sure that it says the same number of selected items are valid. For example, one selected, one valid. Make sure it's a direct child of layers or else it won't work. For example, the group right inside it wouldn't work if I tried to export that. Now click the export button. You will get a file in your downloads, just unzip it anywhere you'd like. Then, click the copy button. That will copy some text into your clipboard. Now, go to Roblox Studio and create a game. Save it to Roblox. In the Asset Manager, use Bulk Import and import all the images from the file you unzipped. Then, select them all, right-click and click Insert. Also, make sure that you have Device Emulation on. Go to Test, then View, and click Device. Put it on HD 1080. Then, on the Blocksporter plugin, paste your text and click Import. Your UI should be in there. Just change the position and anchor point to 0.5 to center it. Now, you can fix up the details, but everything should be in there nicely. Now, for the last step, let's scale everything. When I switch device types, you can see that it's not scaled. For this, you will need a scaling plugin, but I use Speedport Pro. I change the mode to GUI Descendants included, and I click Lazy Scale. This basically converts everything to scale. Then, I lock the text and the strokes. As you can see, it's now all imported and scaled correctly. I recommend you to play around with the other configuration tags to get the best results. If you have any questions or feature requests, you can always message me or Pure Bacon on Discord. You can also join his server where he helps people or drops his updates. That's it for now. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to talk about in more detail.